Let's say we have a salesman named Bob, and he needs to make deliveries in a list of cities with the paths shown above. His company wants to save money on traveling fees, so they want to know, what is the shortest possible route in which Bob can visit each city exactly once and return to his starting city? This almost 100 year old problem is known as the traveling salesman problem, and is one of the most famous problems in computer science and mathematics. Hello, I am Arul Rikmazumdar from the Massachusetts Academy of Math and Science, and today I'll be presenting my Davidson's Fellows Scholarship Research Project, an adaptive hybrid quantum algorithm for the metric traveling salesman problem. This project was completed with the help and support of my mentor, Dr. Lee from George Mason University, and will be presented at the 37th IEEE International Parallel and Distributed Processing Symposium. It's also received recognition as one of the top 300 projects in the Regeneron ta Science Talent Search. The traveling sales problem has been studied extensively throughout computer science, but despite that, it's still classified as NP-hard, which means there exists no polynomial time algorithms that can determine an exact solution from scratch. The variant that we analyze in this project is known as the metric traveling sales problem, which basically means that all distances have to satisfy a couple of properties. First, all distances between nodes have to be non-negative finite values. Second, all distances are commutative. The distance between node i and node j has to be the same as the distance from node j to node i. And three, all distances shown on the graph have to satisfy the triangle inequality. Although this may seem rather constrictive, most examples of the traveling salesman's problem are metric by default, including the example we showed before. This is because this is really similar to how the real world operates. So why is this problem so important? It's because the traveling salesman's problem shows up everywhere. From figuring out the quickest way to drill holes in circuit boards, to optimizing motor movement and positioning when analyzing DNA sequences, to minimizing greenhouse emissions when delivering packages to customers. Better algorithms for the traveling sales problem have the potential to save countless hours and trillions of dollars for business and governments across the world. So far, the best algorithms use dynamic programming, and although they're better than brute force solutions, they're still way too slow. An Intel i7 processor will require over 19 hours to compute the traveling sales problem for a graph with only 38 nodes. Because of this, we use a lot of heuristic and approximation algorithms. But what if we could accurately and efficiently solve the traveling sales problem using principles of quantum computing? Quantum computing is a special framework that exploits the principles of quantum mechanics, like superposition or entanglement, to increase the speed of calculations. The core of quantum computing are quantum bits, or qubits, which are like classical bits, except they can store and perform functions on multiple values on once, whereas classical bits can only do so with a zero or a one. The ability to store and compute from multiple values at once is known as quantum parallelism, and this is really where the strength of quantum algorithms come from. The best example of quantum algorithmic speedup is Grover's algorithm which can search for a marked element in an array quadratically faster than the best classical algorithms. In fact, many experts believe that quantum computers have the potential to be able to solve problems that our best classical computers cannot solve. This idea is known as quantum supremacy or quantum advantage. Now, I know what you're thinking. If quantum computers are so great, have the potential to solve these really hard problems, why aren't they used everywhere? The answer really lies in two words, quantum volume. Since quantum computing is a relatively new field, emerging in only the 1980s, with our first quantum computers being developed in 1998, we don't have access to that many high-performing qubits. This leads to high error rates and lacking capabilities in quantum speedup potential. We currently live in the noisy intermediate scale quantum era, or the NISC era which means that our quantum computers have only between 50 to 100 high-performing qubits. In order to do some of the really crazy things, like break RSA encryption or simulate advanced chemical reactions, we're going to need quantum computers with over thousands of high-performing qubits. And thus, we cannot expect to model complicated and large problems in quantum algorithms to yield accurate results. 
So this brings us back to our initial question. How can we use quantum computing and quantum algorithms to solve the traveling salesman problem? As you may recall, the best solutions to the traveling salesman's problem utilize dynamic programming, which basically requires three steps. First, to break the larger problem down into easier subproblems and solving these subproblems. Second, storing these sub-solutions in some sort of memoization table. And third, searching through this memoization table for the minimal total path. Searching. As shown with Grover's algorithm, this is where quantum parallelism can really outperform our classical computational capabilities. So, if we apply dynamic programming to the traveling sales problem, trim the problem down to run on a quantum computer, and apply quantum search using Grover's algorithm, we can develop a faster and accurate way to solve the traveling sales problem. Although this may not seem like a big difference, it has huge implications, both theoretically and practically. Theoretically, we found our novel algorithm to have a lower time complexity than both the best classical algorithms and the best pure quantum algorithms as well. Practically, when we ran trials using Intel processors and D-Wave samplers, we found that our novel algorithm was able to solve the metric traveling sales problem in less time than both the best dynamic programming classical algorithms and, once again, the best pure quantum algorithms. As the state of quantum technology continues to improve, we can expect that our novel algorithm will just keep on getting faster and faster and demonstrate a give greater difference than the best pre-existing algorithms for the metric traveling salesman's problem. Our work demonstrates progress regarding the traveling salesman's problem, and it can be used to make a difference in a variety of sectors, including the ones we've talked about before, like biology, manufacturing, and logistics. But our work is even more important because of the implications it has for the whole class of MP-hard problems. Just like the traveling salesman's problems, there are other MP-hard problems, like the knapsack problem or the bin packing problem. And optimizations to the algorithms with these problems, just like the traveling salesman's problems, has the potential to influence a large variety of sectors. Our approach on intermingling the best qualities of both classical and quantum computing can be applied to the similar class of programming problems. As the world continues to progress, our algorithms will be pushed to their max, which is why it's important to keep on developing and improving upon them. Our work gives an example of this, and we hope it inspires others to think about how they can face the hardest challenges in computer science and mathematics using the resources of post-quantum world.